ain't nobody gonna know unless you tell them it's a personnel and please even if you're looking at my nails why exactly are you looking at it so much that you're gonna know that it's personnel are you that nosy i don't get it <laughs> Hey girls, welcome to my channel. It's a girl with Steph, and I'm back with another video. If it's your first time here, if it's your first time see me, don't make you last. Kindly subscribe to those good stuff for YouTubers as you guys to do when I post a new video. And if it's not your first time here, hey guys, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video from me. I really appreciate and I ride with you. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to be that girl on a budget, how to look pretty and polished on a budget. See. One thing I've come to understand is that growing up as a lady and trying to be a well-presented lady at that, it's expensive. Then to top it all, when you are not trying to be that girl, that lady, that woman, honey, it is extremely expensive. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to cut it down. See, to be on a budget doesn't mean you're broke, honey. No, that is not the case. Being on a budget just means that you're trying to be financially calculated. You're not trying to spend all your money on just trying to make your appearance look okay. We have to learn how to save we have to cut down something i'm in the journey of trying to be financially okay all around cut my expenses make more money and be rich forever i don't want to sit and buy i'll be making money in my 20s in my 30s and my 40s i'm broke again like that's not the case and all these things are something that we tend to do every two weeks every three weeks every four weeks for a particular amount of money if you sit down and calculate how much you have spent maybe on just your nails or your waxing you're going to cry so today we're going to talk about all these things on the pretty budget of course i know that's what you're interested to watch keep on watching now trying to be on the budget when it comes to being that girl it's your nails see it is important to get your nails done if you can believe me like when you have your nails on it just feels good like there's this like do you understand like i just got my nails done like i just got my nails done blah 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 that kind of thing getting your nails done every two to three weeks let's say now you're spending ten thousand <laughs> ten thousand no not in this country let's say you're spending fifty thousand on your nails every three weeks that's somebody's monthly wage have you thought about that exactly i'm not saying it is bad to get your nails done no don't get me wrong because me that was a period i was fixing my nails back to back to back to back but sometimes it's important that we know that there are some things we can cut down and when it comes to our nails i'm talking about investing in press on nails yes you heard me right like these bad boys i have on right now they are actually press on nails exactly investing in press on nails is the goal when it comes to being on a budget if i, I know some people that actually fix their nails themselves and you won't even believe it yes it's sometimes good to have this acrylic nails i'm not saying i'm not disputing that yes sometimes it's good but like when you're trying to be on a budget and still look pretty there are some things that you cut down and if you don't have the money i'm just here to tell you now that when you have press on nails it still gives you that same feeling of having to fix your gel or your acrylic press on nails are quite affordable and guess what you can reuse them reuse Use them and reuse them for as long as you want depending on how well you maintain them to so invest in press on nails you can have like three different press on nails and believe me if you wear it and fix it correctly ain't nobody gonna know unless you tell them it's a press on nails and please even if you're looking at my nails why exactly are you looking at it so much that you're gonna know that it's press on nails are you that nosy i don't get it so invest in press on nails press on nails are the go-to like understand you don't have that money you spend every time on nails so invest in if I, there is a press on nail i got as of last week it cost me 500 naira but this particular one is like 5,000 <laughs> it's like 5,000 naira like do you see the difference and guess what yes it may be like different quality but like for that particular event that you want your nails to be done you're good to go so invest in price on nails having your nails done is good do you understand so invest in price on nails now my next point is going to be having a good skincare routine to always look pretty to always look poly to always look like someone that have her thing going on well and together it is good to have a good skincare routine yes i understand that there are a lot of skincare products out there that are expensive but i will keep saying it though it is you that want to bring your eye down and look at the affordable ones which actually do the work that think that skincare is expensive to be honest i started small and guess what i still love my affordable skincare product actually instead of you looking at that skincare facial wash now that costs like fifteen thousand twenty thousand we actually have some that are like four thousand five thousand three thousand even some good basil in fact there's a separate video on this already so check down my channel or i'm going to link it right here for you to get your hand on good skincare products good affordable skincare product have it see having a skincare routine is actually very therapeutic believe me for someone that does skincare and doesn't get tired of it it's actually very therapeutic especially when you're trying 
trying to achieve something with your skin and you're seeing the progress and you're just having this confidence that oh my god my skin looks good so to be polished you have to have a good skin care routine please don't go out looking tacky and razz like your skin is just giving dull it's just giving like i need help so have a good skin care routine as little as just having your moisturizer your facial wash your sunscreen your serum and your lotion you are actually good to go it doesn't matter how many products you have it matters how well that product works for you so having a good skincare routine will keep you pretty will keep you polished and will give you that girl vibe the next on my list is wax stripe even though the one i got last i don't i did not really enjoy it like that but if you don't like wax stripe you can also wax yourself and as much as we feel like when we're waxing ourselves we'll not do a better job because of the pain and all that kind of thing if you think about it to save up we have to normalize learning some things how to wax yourself someone like me that my skin is actually very allergic to shaving i cannot shave and not have a reaction so i don't even shave i literally wax so imagine the fact that i'll have to be going to the spa to wax almost every month sometimes twice a month have a that means i'm making my money for just waxing now like if you think about it having a good wax strap or knowing how to make sugar's wax is not hard to make just get your lemon your sugar and you're good to go like literally you're good to go so invest in wax strap or learn how to make your sugar wax yourself now the next on my list is make sure like please make sure your toenails are always done and clean do you know that a lot of people you will see their hand they are carrying these bling bling nails because that's what i call blings like you can see the crystals you can see everything and then you look down you're like what's what's actually going on so that's not giving that girl vibe that's not giving pretty and polished the vibe as much as you take care of your fingernails do not ignore your toenails i don't know why that is easily forgotten but there's this feeling that i get when my toenails are well painted and polished and clean like i can wear anything especially the fact that i'm not a fan of always wearing cover shoes cover heels like i like the sandals heel i like my slippers and all that kind of stuff it's important that your toenails are clean and looking good so that people know that yeah you got your stuff together you know what you're doing and you're really taking good care of yourself so make sure that in everything you do your toenails is always clean you don't have to polish it you don't have to rub cutters you don't have to do all this kind of stuff but clean it trim it just make sure it's neat and always hydrated don't carry white feet walking around like it's not cute in any way my next point is going to be simple accessories accessorizing takes your look from zero to 100 i'm going to give you guys an instant like a life instance now let's take out my earrings and let's see the difference now you can see that without my earrings i look a very different but when i have my earrings on like there is a huge difference it just elevates the look listen to me before i actually don't like wearing huge i don't like wearing earrings i just felt it was a lot like i don't know well what cost it was because i went to secondary school that doesn't wear earrings so like it took me time to normalize wearing earrings and now i can't step out without actually wearing earrings like that's the funny thing because i know how important it elevates my look as simple as your outfit can look the right accessories will top it up simple wrist what simple bangle and then simple necklace like i'm not wearing a necklace right now because this is like it doesn't need a necklace but some people will wear a necklace just have your good earrings on and your wristwatch and your bangle and you're good to go if you like the rings it's fine i think i'm beginning to like not really like rings the way i used to like it before but maybe we'll get back to it now my next point is going to be keep it simple when it comes to your clothing some people in the process of trying to be a fashionista they come out looking like a clown i'm sorry to use that word but like let's get it straight having simple and statement pieces in your wardrobe makes your fashion easy for you you don't have to start with the whole color blocking to look good just have simple statement pieces in your clothes like simple tall pants trousers neutral colors white black brown pink it's fine as far as you know how to pair them together but trying to like mix match colors different colors and you come out looking like a clown honey you're giving this pretty so it's important to have simple pieces in your clothing to be honest if you're just starting out i would say invest in good gowns like all these simple straight gowns they are easy to style 
when you wear it down you can either decide to dress it up or dress it down if you wear a heel you dress it up if you wear slippers you dress it down if you wear a can you're giving casual that's how much i love gowns like simple gowns straight gowns that are just fitting into the body and not oversized my next point to looking pretty and polished is to always moisturize your skin see for those that like showing leg for those that like showing shoulder and your skin is not well moisturized it's gonna show that your skin needs a good amount of lotion oil when you're hydrated inside and out you're going to be glowing so it is good to always moisturize your skin to look pretty and polished and i know that you know very well that it is not hard and expensive to have a good moisturizer and a good body slash glow oil it is not hard and it is not expensive there are lots of affordable ones out there that you can try and i hope you got something from this video because we have come to the end of this video now these few points that i mentioned believe me if you look well like if you use your real eye to look well you will see that this is something that you can do starting from getting yourself a good press on nails taking care of your toenail you can paint your toenails yourself most times i actually do paint my toenails myself simple pieces of clothes is better than having a wardrobe filled with rubbish to be honest a lot of us have clothes but not outfits in fact i'm a living example of i have a lot of clothes but now let me make a outfit out of those clothes or more it used to be a lot of struggle that's a lot of women's struggle when somebody be like but see all the clothes you have yes we have clothes too but we don't have outfits that's one of our challenges and we need to conquer that so these few points i mentioned can literally elevate your look like it can give you that like that pretty girl vibe that you want on a real body nobody will know that all these things are on a budget yeah so i always say this you can be on a budget and look prettier than the person that have lots of millions in their bank accounts looking good shouldn't reflect on how much is in your bank account it shouldn't in any way at all so i hope you got something from this video if you have any question of course leave it in the comment section and i will answer you till next time i love you guys please do well to subscribe like share comment bye